Raider says, this concludes the pre-trip parts and fluid identification event. We will now proceed with the air brake test. We would like you to perform a safety walk around and check your mirrors and confirm that the apparatus is road ready. Do you have any questions? All drivers are required to perform an air brakes inspection during the pre-trip inspection on a vehicle equipped with air brakes. Candidate states, the apparatus is road ready with the exception of the wheel blocks. The Raider states, grading will begin when you start the apparatus and conclude when you complete your last brake test. Do you have any questions? The candidate states, I'm going to start the engine to ensure my tanks are full. Governor cut in test. Turn on ignition switch. Let gauges cycle. Start the engine. With the engine running and with full air tanks, begin the governor cut in test. Pump service brake slowly. Press and hold brake pedal for three seconds and release and wait for 20 seconds. Then repeat as necessary until the governor cuts in. The minimum cut in pressure is 100 PSI. Continually watch air gauges for upward movement. If gauges do not move upward, pump brake slowly. Release about five PSI each time until the governor cuts in. The gauges will start to move upwards. Candidates must verbalize the actual cut in pressure. Governor cut out test. Build air back to maximum air pressure. You may raise RPMs to 1500 to make compressor cycle more quickly. When air pressure stops rising, the air dryer may release. Candidates must verbalize the actual cutout pressure for primary and secondary air gauges and the maximum cutout pressure of 140 PSI. Applied air leakage test. Turn engine off, then turn the ignition switch back on. Release the parking brake. Apply and hold the service brake pedal down. Let the gauges settle in time for one minute. Candidate must verbalize primary and secondary air gauges and that gauges should not drop more than 3 PSI in one minute. Verbalize the actual air loss, if any. Low pressure test. Do not start engine, pump service brake slowly until the low air buzzer and light activate. Candidate must verbalize that the low air pressure warning buzzer and light should come on between 75 and 55 PSI and the actual pressure that they activated. Spring brake test. Pump service brake slowly until the spring brake activates. Candidate must verbalize that the spring brake needs to activate between 45 and 20 PSI and the actual pressure that it activated. Verbalize the primary and secondary air gauges. ABS system test. Cycle ignition off, then back on. Start the engine. Candidate verbalizes the ABS lights are on. When the ABS lights are off, they are functioning properly. Air pressure buildup test. With the engine running, bring up to 1000 RPM with the high idle switch. With air pressure below 80 PSI, turn off high idle. Watch the gauges. When both primary and secondary gauges read 85 PSI, candidate will verbalize start time. The compressor at normal operating idle must build up from 85 PSI to 100 PSI within 45 seconds. Candidate verbalizes stop time when both primary and secondary air gauges equal 100 PSI. This will assure that the compressor is building at a normal rate. Build air pressure to maximum cutout pressure before exiting cab. Parking brake test. Exit cab and remove wheel blocks. Candidate shall state to all passengers to fasten their seat belts. With the parking brake engaged and the engine on, place the transmission in drive. Accelerate foot throttle no more than 1000 RPM. Gently tug against parking brake. Service brake test. 
Drive vehicle forward three to five miles per hour. Lift hands from steering wheel and apply service brakes to see if the vehicle stops and or pulls to one side or the other. Candidate verbalizes if the vehicle pulls to one side or the other and that the service brakes are functioning properly. Candidate applies parking brake and places transmission in neutral. Candidate states, I have completed the brake test. The candidate has now finished the air brake test and has completed the pre-trip portion of the exam. The candidate will remain in the cab and start the driving event.